Bok, bok, bok. Lay an egg, please, little chicken. That would be so nice of you. Go on, little chicken. Just a nice little eggy. Cause this is the first chicken I found. And, well, he is so cute. Look at him. But, well, or her, probably, because uh, she needs to lay eggs. Lots of them. So I can take them back to my base, because that's way easier than, well, just killing this one and hoping for feathers. And, well, if not, then <laughs> going way, way farther. And if I move too far away, then he is uh, not loaded, or she is not loaded. And she won't lay eggs. So yeah, I'll stay here a while and uh, gather eggs. And I found an extra chicken and uh, well I decided to marry them together and they have had uh, two babies so far and I'm just just luring them all the way back to my base which is over there and that took uh, well, more than two babies because I think they can breed again soon but well it's totally doable and at least now I have uh, chicken and cows and that's pretty much all the animals she needs well Unless you want like sheep for the wool for pranks or something. Or I guess you actually need some wool for uh, some gear. Like the totally unusable uh, mage gear. But well. Perhaps I'll actually also go and find some sheep later on. But for now. Yeah. Chickens. They have come home. Looky here little guys. It's all lit up all the way. Come on. Yeah, and they lag behind and then they, well, lose interest <laughs> and then you have to stand around again. And come on guys, come on. Yeah, yeah, you want to? No, not yet. Yeah, so this is why it takes quite longer. But yeah, I think I've got this in the pocket. So uh, yeah, chickens down. Oh, hello there. Um, well, I'm just building a second layer for uh, my farm system, but well, if you uh, build it within your own perimeter, that's everything is all right and all fine. But once you get out of the perimeter, well, the well server starts uh, reminding you over and over again that well, if you place blocks here, then maybe somebody else will come around and disturb your well, build or place blocks and stuff. So, uh, yeah, this will be uh, an area for, uh, well, extra plants. And I think I would like some, uh, I don't know, cotton uh, uh, harvesting because, well, that is uh, a reason to not have to search for sheep because uh, nine cotton is uh, one bull. And although that's, of course, not very fast and but it can perhaps be automated with some uh, magical creatures that would harvest it maybe for me and then uh, perhaps uh, that would actually be a useful thing because well if you just use uh, 9 stacks of 64 then you got 64 wool and well <laughs> then you don't have the annoying sheep around <laughs> And you can just uh, color the wool uh, afterwards, even though, of course, yeah, that will mean you will, I will have to uh, keep on uh, resupplying my uh, dyes. So yeah, the only reason to actually keep sheep in this uh, series of mods is uh, so you don't have to always go out and uh, search for stuff. But I actually kind of like going out and looking for stuff, so that would be a bonus. But yeah, I guess I'll have to go farm some more uh, dirt. But that's fine. It is just a little update because, well, if you just uh, go from one uh, building or stage to the next building stage without any intermediate, intermediates, well, steps in between. <laughs> yeah, then it's just uh, oh, and this this is what I built. But then you don't actually uh, get to uh, well enjoy the process. So yeah, I put my chicken in here, and uh, well, I actually bred them uh, once more. So uh, yeah, I, I really need to uh, put a sigil of breeding in there, and then uh, have an AOE spell. So yeah, 
I uh, guess I'll uh, go and work on the farm first and then the inscription table because I'll need some more chickens. So yeah, that's uh, the update. And I just killed one chicken and it gave me five feathers. So, well, maybe in this mod uh, you don't need all that many chickens after all. But, well, I've got a few. So I just killed one and the rest, well, they really like to hide out in the corners over here. And that is uh, something uh, annoying because then they don't actually uh, come to you when you uh, lure them with uh, the seeds. But well, if you uh, just uh, leave the corner open, but uh, with blocks around it so they can't actually go there, then they don't get stuck. And well, then they just will uh, actually uh, follow you around. So that is, um, well, maybe something to do with just the this selection of mods or something. But yeah, I've pretty much uh, opened up uh, each corner and actually made extra blocks there so we would uh, was actually even possible as it did on the other side oh yeah and uh, I've got enough uh, uh, dirt so this is uh, pretty much done even though this is only three so I uh, will actually do another another layer because I thought about it but I thought an extra row here just to be able to walk on is usually useful <laughs> and uh, well if you drop down here you don't get any fall damage so that is uh, fine and well I don't know maybe I uh, will actually also build something over there of course so then uh, from here to there will be a walkway and that is then halfway across my of, of above my uh, sugarcane farm and uh, I've been slowly but steadily building up um, the bookcases because uh, yeah the sugarcane is with uh, well some but not a real whole lot and if you just need a lot of them then well takes a while so yeah it's uh, I could make those of course yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll uh, keep working but I just uh, thought I'd uh, show you that I actually have the feathers so now I will be making the inscription table again and um, well after that uh, I'm gonna finish up uh, the crafting altar and uh, gonna start building some spells and uh, yeah I don't think that's all that uh, in, uh, extra I don't know important uh, um, exciting yeah exciting that was the word but uh, I uh, also like showing a little bit uh, of uh, progress or well lack thereof but uh, well uh, with uh, the chickens that actually uh, is going pretty well even though I don't have a sigil or something to do it automatically oh and I uh, keep my uh, coordinates on usually if I go out to uh, explore stuff because well yeah you kinda get lost and uh, these are uh, almost all grown and even though I only uh, planted the first row they grow on their own higher apparently so that is uh, nice okay I'll uh, keep on uh, working and working Work, work, work. So yeah, the inscription table still has the same uh, pattern, of course. But there is, with the bibliocraft, also a normal table which you can build. And well, you can build uh, all sorts of book casings, and uh, well, you can actually organize all your spells uh, in uh, lots of ways. But now I've built this, so I get the new entry for uh, probably the crafting altar. But yeah, first we'll uh, place this. And I guess I'll have to... Oh no! Can we just pick it up? Maybe with an X. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'll have to place it like this. Yeah, okay. So now they're like nice close together. And uh, I guess it will be the crafting altar oh and the magic wall of course and the lectern yeah so crafting altar and this is the structures thing and spell components yeah we know all this stuff oh and uh, now it unlocks the shapes and components uh, for the uh, from uh, the things I uh, chose in the oculus so yeah, I'll go finish uh, off my uh, crafting altar and uh, start building some spells because 
I want frost and perhaps even freeze and uh, hopefully even AoE free. Now AoE is not all that important, but I want to go into the Nether and uh, harvest some uh, uh, Nether quartz because we'll need those for uh, the Light Nexus. And um, well, I am level one, so I uh, really need to uh, uh, go out and uh, uh, level up. But th yeah, that will probably take a while. But yeah, so we are uh, making progress. And I haven't actually checked out what is there in the nether, but I'll just do that on a completely separate episode with no gear, just some food and fire or frost or I don't know. We'll see. So yeah. Uh, this is uh, another uh, extra bit of progress. Hello back. Um, yeah, so I finished the uh, altar. But curiously, um, I did not actually already had the um, lectern and the switch or the lever. I just only had um, the entire thing with this block when I place this uh, bit of stairs then it's uh, completed even before I had these uh, stairs so it actually uh, is lenient in when you have uh, completed it so it was uh, three blocks short actually and that's strange but well fine uh, so yeah I've got myself a crafting altar he ha ho and yeah that's nice. So, uh, spells incoming. Well, apparently, I now have uh, a way bigger area that I can claim because, uh, well, maybe because I've actually built something or something, or there are lots of units around, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, well, but um, I wanted to make it actually even bigger. There. Yeah, and now I have still 166 available blocks to claim. Maybe I want to include my nether portal. Right click on this. And then wait till <laughs> it actually does it. And my nether portal is, uh, yeah, around there. So, can we do this? No. No. Ooh, almost. Let's do it here. Yeah, so the nether portal is safe, and uh, the entire farm is safe, and all my stuff is safe. Yeah, so <laughs> just build more and you get more uh, available space to claim. That's actually a very nice uh, process, I, I or system, or whatever. I like that a lot. It's just that if you don't do anything, yeah, well, fine, then you get uh, just a little bit of land. But if you actually build stuff, then your territory may grow. Ah, this is a uh, civilization all over again. You have to build cities and then uh, upgrade them and then uh, their influence grows and then they can expand and... Uh, <laughs> well, where can we build a market? <laughs> oh, no, wait. <laughs> yeah, so nice. Alrighty, no. This is uh, turning out to be... Um, well, for me at least, a very interesting uh, new process and uh, server mechanics. And I like it a lot. Yeah, and uh, well, that is done, this is done, this is done. I didn't make any spells yet because I decided to finish my uh, farm first. And well, my first batch of uh, cotton is in the ground. And that is actually why I needed to uh, increase the range. Because you cannot just put uh, water on the floor anywhere. It has to be in your actual uh, territory or uh, somewhere underground. Or so that that is also allowed. For, I don't know for lava extinguishing and such. Now the bucket of caving is allowed, but you can't do the bucket of grieving on somebody's redstone or something. So yeah, that's also a nice thing. And if I wouldn't have uh, just uh, rejected my uh, placing the water, I actually wouldn't have tried to increase the range or just, well, first I just shifted the range. But it turned out I had way more uh, uh, available space. So, yeah, we can probably actually expand. Just build more stuff. Alrighty, well, 
so far for the update I guess uh, it will be uh, next time because well it's dark and need to go to sleep and still people on the server so yeah later